Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying out the skill the Wind Mantle. Alrighty. Now I have not used dual blades in such a long time. I think I've only ever used it like twice in Sunbreak alone. But I did put in a good like three to four hundred hunts of it in world and I hated every second of it because uh, for those that didn't really play it too much in world you were kind of stuck doing one thing the entire time and that upset me quite a lot. And the monster would move and uh, you would be very upset for a while. But uh, you can see that Wind Mantle is activated already. All you need to do is not sheath your weapon. And I forgot to put breath on this set, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, basically Wind Mantle... I did not mean to dive. It'll increase your regen rate of your wire bugs while it's active. I'm not sure by how much. Because I haven't done too much research on it as I just basically just finished putting this set together and wanted to have uh, some free time with Mr. Tios. Uh, bah. My brain is not working after work. <laughs> My goodness. I completely forgot what I was talking about there. Unfortunate. Should definitely be going in demon mode, but I am trying to. Uh, Relent the ways of how I used to play dual blades because obviously it's very different in Sunbreak. We actually have options, unlike we did in Rise. Completely missed the weak point there, apparently. At least I believe that's how it works. Dodge that. Easy stuff. Some nice damage on his head, even though it's not weakened. Or her head, sorry. Obviously, is a female. Okay, get our stamina back. Would love to weaken her face here soon. Also want to get time to sharpen. Would be ideal. Get some big hits off. We're also running uh, both the mantles, which is what that pop there was. Was uh, T.O. Mantle and Powder Mantle. Okay, maybe some of this now. Nice. Okay, very good. Still haven't weakened the face, sadly. So we're doing very minimal damage. But that's okay. Dodge through that. I'm bouncing off the face now because we got blue. Which is unfortunate. Blinder out of the air and sharpen. We do have grinder on this. Because I know dual blades is a sucker for sharpness. So I expected that. Get over to her and activate Wind Mantle to get that recovery back. I probably should have put, um, thinking about it, Demon Blight on now, or Demon Flight. We could probably weaken the uh, wings here pretty easily. Especially with uh, having our wire bugs back constantly. So we could just counter repeatedly. Okay, can you just not grab onto people in the air? Or grab onto monsters in the air? Is that what I'm missing here? Use our counter there to get off our blue bug. Would really like to weaken the face. We are doing no damage, basically. Which is unfortunate. Let's grab this. Just for some extra healies. Dodge through that. Because why not? We can. I gotta say, it definitely feels way better actually being able to do stuff without just being sat in one spot. It feels really good, actually. The damage is so piddly, but I'm pretty sure that's just because we're not uh, using a build we necessarily should. Because obviously, with dual blades, you kind of want to use elements. And uh, blast and poison isn't exactly ideal because obviously you can't do too much with the element itself. Uh oh. Unfortunate. We also have um, Intrepid Heart on the set because I figured it might be nice to not get knocked out of the air if we do that spiral thing on the face. It's going after Rock. Okay. Maybe I should be doing Triangle Combo more so than the other one. Okay, I don't know how that hit us, but that's okay. Can't just through that. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to be doing um, Triangle instead. But that's okay. Live and you learn. 
two, three. Yep. Easy enough. Over to the face. That's not the face. Does it have to be a weak point? Is that what I'm missing there? Might be. I do know though, we should uh, be doing as many combos as we can while in demon mode. And then we go into our spiral thrust to end the stamina off. Oh, we missed. Unfortunate. Just because you can't drop out of it if you're currently in an attack, from what I know at least. Also, the face is nice and weakened now. Easy enough. Maybe we can do it again. Ah, oh, she missed. That's okay though. We need to sharpen anyway. Grinder putting in work. We also definitely want to be in uh, demon mode when we're dodging. Obviously you guys probably know that, but I completely forget. There's so many weapons to play. Very easy to forget things. Okay, go to the face. Dodge that. Oh, I couldn't. That's alright though. Counter that. Counter this one as well. Easy enough. Free damage. Over to the face. Okay. Simple stuff. Okay. We got Arch Demon mode, so our dodge is somewhat decent, so we don't have to be in regular demon mode. Easy adrenaline rushes. I definitely should have put status trigger on as well, because obviously we're uh, using um, blast, so that would be nice. Oh my god, you can cancel demon flurry as well. That's so good. There we go. There's some solid damage going. Should definitely be in demon mode though, because I'm an idiot. But that's okay. Straight to the face. Okay, so it is a weak zone thing. Good to know. So I did basically just don't press the button if uh, it's not going to hit the face or a decent weak zone or hit zone. Okay, that sucks. Definitely sucks there. But that's alright. Okay, I feel so mobile. It's such a weird thing going from absolutely hating this weapon to it being pretty fun. Okay. Oh my god. So you can't cancel the triangle now, but you can cancel demon flurries. That is so backwards compared to what it used to be. My goodness. Oh, I see. If you don't move, it doesn't dash you forward as well, which is nice. Oh, we missed a lot of that, but that's okay. Straight to the face. Nice. Okay, unfortunate. Use demon mode to counter that, because I believe that's a thing, even though Intrepid Heart procced, so I could be wrong there. Just get away. Alright, we definitely need to get another blind here shortly, just so we can sharpen. Unfortunate, I thought we could get far enough. But that's okay, we'll blind here in a second, sharp and get rid of Toxin. Easy enough. Went to sharpen first, because obviously we'll recover the health eventually. Is that a healing clover? Hell yeah. Love to see that rock. Good job, mate. Okay. Oh, hopefully that doesn't break it. Okay, we're good. Slam her into a couple walls. She doesn't fly like Rathalos, luckily, so uh, we can actually control where she's going. Which is great. Probably get on the floor, go straight to demon mode. Okay, it just didn't go forward. That sucks. Okay, one more. Yep. Straight onto the face. Perfect. Okay. She'll come back down. No, she won't. Oh, she was just delaying it. That's lovely. You completely missed twice. 
Okay. Can you stop? But <laughs> we had our blue uh, blue proc there, so we had to. No reason not to. Okay. You can definitely keep Wind Mental up, which seems amazing with door blades at the moment. Obviously, if you're a lot better than I am at the moment, because uh, Extreme Rust basically put like two hunts into this weapon in this game. Because I thought it wouldn't be too different. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. I tried to counter, but nothing came out. Yeah, that was a mistake. I tried to counter nothing. Get away, use Arch Demon mode to dash. Okay. Should definitely be using that a lot more as well. Just so we can... Oh. I don't know how that hit us. We were so far away. But that's okay. I thought we were far enough away. Apparently I should just roll. Oh my god. Everything's hitting me when I don't think it will. What is this? The skill's definitely really good by the looks. Because having, um, obviously, the armor piece that actually has Wind Mantle on that I'm using has three Wirebug Whisper as well. So we just get, like, I'd imagine it stacks. So we get Wind Mantle and the, uh, continuous regen from having level three Wirebug Whisperer. Okay. I don't know if we actually counted that in time, but it looked like we did. Get some Demon Flurry off. Okay, so that, it still feels kind of the same, all your damage is still just standing still, which I didn't like. But at least you have options now, which is great. I was trying to follow the head there, but it didn't work. Dodge through that, because why not? There's a break, maybe we can get something going finally. Maybe I should just be using the wire bug a lot more if I can uh, actually land the hits on it. Because maybe it's just straight up better than doing a regular combo. Which is possible because obviously wire bugs are pretty powerful. Okay, thought she might go for us, but she didn't. Nice, we used our uh, dodge there to proc the blue. Didn't have stamina, so we used the wire bug instead. Okay. Is enough. Should do it one more time. Simple stuff. Aim this at her face. Yeah, that might be the play, honestly. Just land as many of them as we can. On the openings instead of uh, trying to do things. Like, I should definitely do one there, because she's always roars after that, but we just missed. But that's okay. Counter that. Just to be a little bit safer, because I don't trust my knowledge of the uh, dual blades dodge at the moment. Due to inexperience, of course. We got a bit lucky there, I think. Dodge it this time. Should be able to get to her. Lovely. Can use the dodge to get Wind Mantle active, which is beautiful. Straight to the face. No Intrepid Heart, sadly, but that's okay. We took the uh, Powder Mantle instead. Oh, Paralysis. Go straight into this, as we learnt. Okay. Well, I definitely picked up how to play it a little bit better there towards the end, but Wind Mantle seems amazing. I always had wire bugs when I needed them, which I don't think is how it's supposed to be. So that was really fun. Yeah, I knew I didn't have many hunts with the dual blades, bloody hell. Just two. <laughs> well, everybody, that was showing off the Wind Mantle in Monster Hunter. It was honestly so much fun. I had an absolute blast. No pun intended. Definitely try it out. I think with uh, switch axe, gun lance, door blades, bow, bow guns, this should be amazing. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.